financial accounting. We're doing exercise 11, which is a complete statement of cash flows. So far, we've done the operating section and figured out that $45,000 of cash was the result of our daily operations. Now we're going to look at our investing section. And to do our investing section, we're going to look at our long-term assets or our non-current asset accounts. And in this particular problem, we have two of them. One is called furniture and the other one is called accumulated depreciation. Now, at the beginning of the year, furniture had a $60,000 balance. At the end of the year, it had a $55,000 balance. Just looking at that change, I know that we sold some furniture. Well, the problem's additional information told me that I sold $27,000 worth of furniture that I had associated accumulated depreciation of $15,300 on it. So if I look at the 60, the 27, that doesn't get to 55. So it also appears that I, what, bought some furniture for 22000 And by reconciling this account, I can see exactly what did I buy, what did I sell, and look at the cash impact. Um, now, when I bought the furniture for $22,000, the additional information told me that I bought this furniture with a long-term note payable. So did I exchange one long-term asset for a long-term debt? And I did. And where does that show? It doesn't show in the investing section, does it? It shows up way down at the bottom in non cash transactions. In other words, where you have a financing for an investing. So this is going to show up way down at the bottom. So when I flip back, we'll make sure we put it there. But now I've got to figure out, hmm, I sold some furniture. I must have gotten some money. That would be a cash inflow. So if I know that, I know I'm going to credit furniture for $27,000. I know that I'm going to debit accumulated depreciation for um, $15,300. Now I'm looking to see if there's any gains or losses on this sale of furniture. And the problem is something interesting. It says that this furniture was sold at its carrying value. Do you remember what carrying value means? Carrying value is the cost of the asset less its accumulated depreciation. So if this asset was sold at its carrying, and carrying value, there was no gain, there was no loss because we sold it at the difference between its cost and its accumulated depreciation which means I must have sold this asset for $11,700 cash. So have I now figured out the cash inflow because I sold furniture? I need to do one more thing with accumulated depreciation. Remember we have the dead entry and that dead entry was up there in operations section. And in operations, we showed depreciation of $19,300. Now, if I include the depreciation entry in accumulated depreciation, do I reconcile to the ending balance? So I needed that because I had to explain all the changes in both the accumulated depreciation account and the furniture account. So what, are you, what do we do now? on the statement of cash flows. We said we had a sale of furniture and that sale of furniture gave us $11,700. So as far as how much cash came in from uh, investing activities, it was $11,700. So cash from investing, $11,700. We also said way down at the bottom, we have to show our non-cash transactions, transactions, and that was 
$22,000. So way down at the bottom, we need to show that as well. So that's the investing section. Stay tuned. Financing is next.